Hello and welcome, it's KB here. Today I'm going to test out the ChatGPT's GPT-40 model for free because GPT-40 model is actually free in ChatGPT's free plan. But there is a limit how many times or how much you can use the GPT-40 model in free plan. They introduced the GPT-40 model for free users back in May 13, but it wasn't actually fully available for all ChatGPT users. It was available in some countries and for some selected users. But now it looks like it is available for almost everybody. So you'll be able to do all these cool things with GPT-40 in free ChatGPT. So yeah, let's test this out. I'm actually excited. <laughs> I have been actually testing this out. You can actually do really cool things. Now, as far as I know, now you can generate images, edit images, and uh, access the web, which is really cool uh, in free chat GPT. So let's actually try this out. Generate a cat image uh, looking very cute with big eyes. Here's a cute cat with big eyes. Uh, let me know if you'd like any changes to make it even cuter. You can check out the images in, in our conversation history. Yeah, this is cool. So I'm, oh, <laughs> this isn't the cat that I was looking for, but it is a cat, right? Uh, okay. Now, one thing you may have noticed that I'm using the different voice uh, in ChatGPT uh, because rest in peace to the sky voice. You know, before this, there were like uh, five voices. Now there are only four voices. The sky voice, which everybody loved using, is gone uh, because it looks like the sky voice was like similar to the really popular actress and OpenAI had to remove it. I want you to make this cat image realistic. Creating a more realistic cat image is beyond the capabilities of simple drawing with Matplotlib. For realistic images, we generally rely on more advanced tools or neural networks trained for image generation. Let me generate a realistic cat image using such a tool. I'll use the text to image model to create a cute cat with big eyes. Please hold on for a moment. It seems like I can't do more advanced data analysis right now. Please try again later. However, you might want to try using an image generation tool like DAL, DAL E, or Stable Diffusion, which can create realistic images based on text descriptions. If you need help with that, let me know. Okay. So it looks like even though you can generate images in free chat GPT, but they are like drawings. And to get like better images, I think you still need to get a gpt plus so let, let, let's actually try this one more time draw a image of a dog smiling sure i'll draw a simple image of a dog smiling using text characters you can see the code in our conversation history i hope you like this cute smiling dog um if you need something more detailed let me know <laughs> this is hilarious i have already reached the limit of using the you know, free GPT-40 for at least uh, the image generation, I think. <laughs> okay. Generate an image of a dog playing golf. I can't generate images, but I can describe it for you. Picture a golden retriever holding a golf club in its mouth, standing on a lush green golf course. Its tail wags excitedly. Oh yeah, I have definitely reached the free GPT-40 limit. <laughs> This is not looking good. I was expecting this video to be a little bit longer. Okay, let's uh, try something else. How's the weather in Mount Everest right now? I can't provide real-time weather what? updates, but... Okay, this is, this is weird, okay. Wow, it's actually very limited for free users. You can give only three or four prompts. I don't know how long it takes to like refresh the limit so I can use it again but wow this is <laughs> i wasn't expecting this but the good thing is that now the voices sound more realistic i don't like where it's going so let's uh, try to upload a image and try to edit <laughs> let's try to remove the background of this picture and hopefully it works analyzing okay it looks like it's working okay it says i have removed the background from the image so you can download it from here so let's click on that oh i got an error and this isn't the first time i'm testing this and i have always got an error every time i try to edit my images so 
not looking good you can see <laughs> yeah i have the access to the gpt 40 model here but things are not looking good <laughs> I don't know why I can't download my own image. How's the weather in Mount Everest right now? Oh, I think it's going to work. <laughs> I'm using the same account on the web and also on my phone. I can actually show you guys. You see this profile picture? Yeah, it's uh, the same account. OK, you see this profile picture? Yeah, it's the same account that I'm using. Actually, you can see the history here. <laughs> Generate an image of a dog playing golf. OK, OK, it looks like it's working. <laughs> OK, oh, OK, never mind. <laughs> I have reached my limit here. So now I can use the GPT-40 tomorrow morning. It's like 12 hours. So I can use the GPT-40 model again for free, but I have to wait 12 hours. It still says that it is giving answer with the GPT-40. Okay, let's see which model it uses now to give me answers. Oh, it's still using the GPT-40. And is there any limit to it? Like how many files can I upload? Will I reach the limit? Only one way to find out. <laughs> and yeah, it didn't took long. Only two prompts and I have reached the limit. When I try to upload file, it says upgrade to ChatGPT Plus or try again tomorrow. Without subscription, it's uh, still like the old ChatGPT for free users. You'll be forced to use the old GPT 3.5 or you'll have to get the subscription. So just in my opinion, uh, I think Google Gemini is still best for free users. Uh, I think you can also do a image generation now. I haven't actually used Gemini for any image generation. It's been a while. So let's actually test this right now. Generate a image of a dog playing golf. Yeah, it looks like it works. Okay. The photos are realistic. <laughs> uh, this one is cool. This one is also cool. Generate a image of a man laughing and sitting on bench. So only problem with the Gemini right now is that it can't generate images of people. I thought that they fixed it, but never mind. But you can generate other images and it actually works pretty well. Generate a image of a lion as a chef. <laughs> okay. So it can't generate human faces, but it can generate other human parts. Just the f face is the problem here. Okay, here is your meal ready. <laughs> I think it's a fish. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a fish. So yeah, it actually works and it's free. And you can access the web all the time in Gemini. You know, overall, you know, for almost everything, uh, Gemini is still best. AI assistant for free. They also have premium plan, but we only care about the free plan. <laughs> but there is one thing that I really like about ChatGPT. That is the voice conversation. Like you can talk to ChatGPT like you're talking to a real human. I mean, it's it's really good. There is no other AI which can do this. ChatGPT is actually the best AI assistant out there, even in free plan. Should I do a demo for you guys? OK, uh, let's let's actually do it. <laughs> OK, I'm going to start small conversation. So will you be my friend? What's your name? Of course, I'd love to be your friend. You can call me ChatGPT. What's your name? My name is KB. And uh, can I call you like uh, I don't know, uh, Jack. Nice to meet you, KB. You can call me Jack if you like. So what's on your mind today? So I was uh, feeling down and uh, I want to talk about, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, about anime with someone. I really like Boruto anime and I want someone to talk about the anime and, you know, just have some good time. I don't know. I'm here to chat, KB. It's totally cool to talk about anime. Boruto is pretty interesting, isn't it? Um, what do you like most about the show? I don't know. I just like the show. <laughs> yeah, I have I have watched, uh, you know, the entire Naruto. Now I'm on Boruto. Finished all the episode. Now there is no new episodes. Do you know anything 
about when the new episodes are coming. Yeah, it's, it's tough when you're eagerly waiting for new episodes. Uh, the release schedule for anime can vary, but it usually they announce new episodes a few weeks in advance. Keep an eye out for updates from the Boruto team or the studio. They usually announce release dates on their official websites. Now, it can give you more information and it can be more powerful and useful if you have the ChatGPT subscription because it can browse the internet and get the info from the internet and all that. Uh, but still, for free users, if you want to talk about something, you can. But it won't have or it won't provide you the latest information. So I heard that uh, in manga, the Kurama is coming back. So do you know anything about that? Yes, that's correct. In the Boruto manga series, Kurama does make a return. However, I won't spoil it for you in case you haven't read it yet. But it's definitely an exciting development. So now let's play a game. You have to guess which is my favorite character in Naruto. I like two characters the most. Sure, I'm up for the challenge. Hmm. Is one of your favorite characters Naruto himself? No, you're wrong. <laughs> No worries. How about Sasuke? No. Okay, let me try again. Is one of your favorite characters Kakashi? Yeah, you got it right. Awesome. Kakashi is a great character. Who's the other favorite? You have to guess it again. Is it Itachi? No. I, I mean, I like him. Got it. How about Jiraiya? <laughs> You're making me uh, feel uh, stupid or I don't know, uh, but no. <laughs> No worries at all. Let me think. Is it Gara? No. He's close to Kakashi. Ah. Is it my guy? Yeah. Do you know the reason why I like him? My guy is a pretty inspiring character. Is it because of his determination and the way he never gives up, even in the face of overwhelming odds? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the reason. And he he looks like a stupid and funny, clumsy guy, but you know, when I saw uh him fighting with the Shark guy? I, I forgot the name of that guy. Okay. You're referring to Kasame Hoshigaki. Yeah, Kasame. The fight between Guy and Kasame was intense. It really showcased Guy's strength and determination. Jack, that's it for uh, this one. We'll talk again. Uh, goodbye. Sure thing, KB. It was great chatting with you about Naruto and Boruto. Take care and feel free to reach out anytime. Goodbye. So, yeah, I mean, it, it is fun to talk with chat gpt i'm not gonna lie okay it's fun i mean it understands however or whatever you say okay and uh yeah it's kind of cool so uh, in terms of like voice conversation chat gpt is like the king right now okay you can't have the conversation like this on any other ai yet for now yeah this is the best for voice conversation for overall other things i think uh google gemini is good and uh, if you get the chat gpt plus i mean go with the chat gpt plus good i'm talking about the free okay free plan and just to be clear i don't actually talk to chat gpt like this as i did right now i'm just showing you guys that is possible i mean it's fun so yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye